Well, March is National Kidney Month, and kids, kidney disease can contribute to many different health issues, such as high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and stroke. So we have Dr. John Pierce here from Preventative Diagnostic Center. We're going to talk all about this as well as the importance of getting tested early, of course. Uh, Dr. Pierce, always wonderful to see you. Kidneys are a vital organ. There's no doubt about that. Can you tell us why it's important to keep them healthy? Well, you know, our kidneys are, are a big filter for our body. I did some research on this because I wanted to have some really cool details. And one of the things I found was that the kidneys filter about 475 million gallons of blood per day. Just wow. imagine we only have a few, you know, like seven to 10 liters, depending on your size of blood. And that, that's how much it gets filtered through the kidneys, right? Um, they keep our balance of our water and all of our electrolytes, and they also balance our, our acid base, right? So they keep us at, at the proper pH. Um, they are, are involved in making a, a hormone called erythropoietin, which causes our body to make more red blood cells. So the kidneys are very important in us being able to maintain our red blood cell volumes because those cells don't last forever. They're going to you know, die and our body has to make new ones to, to replace them. Um, you mentioned the blood pressure. Uh, absolutely, the renal system regulates the blood pressure. Um, and one of the other neat things is it actually takes vitamin D and, and, and the kidneys take it from an inactive form and make it active for our body. So those are some of the things and real important things that the kidneys do. It is so important to keep them healthy. Let's talk about some of the risk factors you think people should be aware of when it comes to increasing the likelihood of kidney disease. Well, you know, smoking is absolutely one of them. Uh, any Anytime anybody smokes, you create a, a plethora of different health disease uh, risk factors. Uncontrolled diabetes, uh, that's another risk factor. Uh, we know that uh, diabetics are prone to renal failure and end up having to be on dialysis. Not everybody, but uh, if you don't keep it under control, that, that's a, a definite possibility. Um, obesity is another one. Uh, unfortunately, race plays a role in this. Uh, Native Americans, African Americans are much higher risk for renal disease. Uh, family history, um, and you may have, uh, you know, a birth issue where you have a, an abnormal um, structure of your kidney, which can cause problems as well. And does kidney disease tend to have a, a, an effect on men and women equally, or does it, you know, tend to affect one gender over the other? Uh, it seems to be a little bit more prevalent in women. And as we age, it becomes more of an issue as well. Uh, and we talked about race in, in that as well. So, uh, you know, females, uh, older females, and then add race in there. And, and that uh, does increase the risk. Dr. Pierce, at Preventative Diagnostic Center, you are offering a CT scan. It's, it's an amazing piece of technology. There's not another one like it between here and Northern California. You can actually help detect many health issues. Uh, what types of kidney abnorm abnormalities can the scanner detect? Well, you know, on the low end of it, we've, we've seen uh, kidney stones. Um, and, you know, tell people about them and, and sometimes they pass and sometimes they just sit there. Uh, we've seen where kidney stones have actually um, blocked the ureter. So that's the little tube that goes from the kidney to the bladder. And then when, we, when that happens, the kidneys back up with urine and that's called hydronephrosis. So we've seen that and had to tell people, listen, you need to get in to see somebody because that needs to be addressed because that can cause long term kidney damage. Uh, we've seen cysts in the kidneys, which are very common findings, and there's really nothing to do for those. We've seen renal cell carcinomas, so cancer of the kidney. So there's a lot of stuff that we can see. We also see the adrenal gland sitting on there, so we would be able to see yep. a tumor uh, of the adrenal gland. So, uh, yeah, very, very great, very good test, a great test to kind of look at the structure of the kidney and see any abnormalities and then point somebody in the right yeah. direction. Doctor, it, it sounds clearly like a wise thing to do. Real quick before we go, you have a special offer. Yes. So uh, we always offer a, a heart scan. Uh, so we're looking at the coronary arteries and see if there's any plaque buildup that's calcified. We get a calcium score. And we instead of uh, offering a one uh, offer for one person, excuse me, we're doing two for one. It's actually better than two for one. Uh, we're doing two heart scans for $125. 
Uh, usually one scans $599. That's an excellent deal. Thank you so much. For more information, visit pdcenterlv.com, the website right there on your screen. You can also call their phone number as well.